Hello everyone, welcome back to Those YG Guys. I'm your host, Alessandro. So, this past weekend, uh, YCS Chicago has happened, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure everyone who's watching this video probably already has a solid idea um, what has happened at YCS Chicago. Um, looking at the top 32 uh, spots, um, in terms of the top decks, we have 17 Necros decks, 6 Teller Knights decks, 3 Shadows, 3 Burning Abyss, 2 Cleeforts, and 1 Ritual Beast decks. So, this is pretty much how the meta is going to shape up, at least for now, until this coming weekend when the World Superstar set is going to drop by. So. So the meta game will completely be shaken up a bit by the world superstars due to like Star Sarah cards and maybe some other cards within it and so on and so forth. But yeah, as we expected, Necros being the best deck. Um but falling not to I mean falling behind them is the Teller Knight deck, which is um which is why I expected like why well, I kinda have a feeling like the um, Necro's deck is going to be one of the best, too, and then, um, Talon I might be falling up second. Now, Shadal's might be also in competition of getting the top two spots of after World Superstar set. Who knows? Um, but yeah, this is what I kind of have a feeling. Uh, Clive 4 decks, still relevant, still powerful. I, I really don't understand why people think the deck is dead. When, I mean, you could still do some unique plays like Soul Transition, um, I mean, you're just going to, like, Clifford Tower faster and all that, I mean, I, I still don't understand why people think the deck is dead, like, after the April 1st, 2015 bans had dropped, had been announced, like, on the 20th of March, so I, I just don't understand that. Um, Burning Abyss, surprisingly, from what I've discovered is that, you know, the hit on Torge was, um, a bit more significant than other people have expected, which I, I am very sh surprised by that, and so, I mean, the Burning Abyss deck is still a strong deck, it's just now... It's not as like you go Torgai and then go into Skarm, overlay into Dante, do all your crazy plays and then follow up another Dante play and so on and so forth. So now they have to use up more resources to make their Dante plays and all that. So that's okay. I can see where this goes. So I finally have an understanding how Burning Abyss have been impacted by the ban list. And then Shadal's. Um, they're going back to their background, I mean, back row roots, um, especially watching a deck profile, a uh, Shadal deck profile on VexKids4666 uh, channel, a live deck profile with Jeff Jones explaining um, some of the card choices with his friend. So I think that's very, very interesting. And now it shows like, you know, Shadals can play a little defensive. And now, once World Superstar can oh, drops by, then it comes down to whether or not they'll play very aggressive or very defensive. So we'll see how that will turn out. Now for the fun part, the hype chain. Choo -choo! But yeah, um, most of you guys probably have heard the news, but if you have not. Um, Song Scolding, which was been played by um, some of the Necros players, just to challenge some of the interesting ideas that some people have with the Necros decks. And especially to popular beliefs, thinking like, well, you know, Necros, they don't play back row. Um, there's no point in main decking MST since we already know the best deck is MST. I mean, Necros, which, true, Necros is the best deck at this current time, but the thing is, is that 
it, I find it very interesting and a very unique way of how Necros will sit, respond to that statement and say, okay, you think we don't play back rows? Challenge accepted. We are main decking some scolding. And, you know, I bet that catches a lot of people off guard, especially in game one, when they probably are not like main decking mystical space typhoon. Now, granted, not not all people are not main decking uh, mystical space typhoon. I mean, there are, I've seen like a few deck profiles that have been main decking mystical space typhoon, which I think, like I said earlier in my prediction, I think mystical space typhoon, even regardless what the back rows, I mean, floodgate cards like skill drain, Manny's emptiness at one. I think it's there's. That card is still relevant. But yeah, I digress. Now, do I think Son Scolding is a very quote unquote live up to the hype? I. Well, let's break it down to it. Um, first off, for in order to activate Son Scolding, it needs to be the only set card on your side of the field to. in order to activate it. Plus, on top of that, you have to pay 3,000 light points. Now, if you make the requirements, you can pretty much do what Solemn Judgment can do. Now, the only difference about Solemn Judgment with this card is the fact that Solemn Judgment, you could just pay whatever amount of life points just to stop. And plus, you could probably set Solemn Judgment with a whole bunch of back row and like, well, you know, I could use it as a last resort, or I could do it first, or, you know, that's one. Solemn Judgment is a little bit more flexible compared to, uh, compared with Solemn Scolding. Now the reason why I it was very interesting that Necros played his song scolding was um one, what Necros can do was um they can do the, the gin lock, which we all know about it. Uh second off, they have Valkyris, which they can search. So if their life points are in danger, they can Valk protect them. Boom. Simple as that. So, with some scolding, it was very interesting because knowing that there are not many people are main decking mystical space typhoon, it is a nice surprise factor. Now, people are thinking, well, since some scolding does not need to be played in a heavy back row deck, probably any deck that doesn't rely on playing back row could utilize this card. Yes and no, in fact. It really comes down to how to, you know, fully utilize the card to its fullest potential. Now, granted, if I'm like playing like Chaos Dragons or High Rags, I mean, normally I'll probably be playing like, um, like Tragodia or Gorse, somewhere around those lines. I don't know how most um, decks look, but I mean, if I'm already taking like free hits just to activate Gorse or Tragodia. I don't think Sound Scolding is going to be a good idea to play. Um, but a few decks I can think of is like, you know, Noble Knights, you know, Protect King Arthur and the Camelot kind of thing strategy. I mean, that can work because you pretty much have a lot of base up uh, spells and track cards, pretty much the equipped spell cards they're equipping to, with your Noble Knight monsters or monster. Um, also like Necros, like I mentioned, I mean, that's pretty interesting what Song Scolding can do. So, yeah, I think it's kind of strange when, uh, people are thinking, like, they could throw Song Scolding to whatever deck, like, I remember, um, on the Linthio's, um, video when he talks about Song Scolding, the hype train, and one person in the comment section mentioned he's going to throw this in Satellanites as if Satellanites don't need, I mean, as if Satellanites need more negation of the effect, which, I mean, you might think like 3,000 life points doesn't look that much, but in actuality, it does. Now, and like I said, you know what's the one of the worst thing when you play Silent Judgment? When it gets blind MST. That's one of the worst things. I am not going to pay life points to negate mystical space. I mean, I mean come on. This is, this is like common sense right there. So then, since people are now realizing, oh wait, Sun Scrolling is becoming a big thing. Let's main deck back the mystical space typhoon, which I still believe you should be doing. I mean, 
And one of the worst things about having some scrolling is not, well, of course, activating at the wrong time, but game blind space, which is one of the worst feelings ever. Now, back to the activating the in incorrect time. From what I've heard in some of the videos I've noticed, like, I've noticed, like, some people mentioned, like, you know, good players, they are well aware, well aware of the Mind Crush, you know, a very popular tech card that people have been main decking. Um, good players have been playing around Mind Crush. So, if Slot Scrolling becoming a big thing, um, you know, people will find a, w a way to play around some scolding, which, you know, and playing, paying 3,000 life points is significant. It's one step closer to losing, and if you play at the wrong time, you will definitely going to lose. So, that's, that's my, those, those are my thoughts on some scolding. I, 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 I personally have one, I, I, I don't know, it's an okay card, I don't think it's all good as people are making it out to be, but it's an okay card, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, other cards like Denko Senka, um, yeah, the card price have jumped, like, I don't know why all of a sudden, but... It just did. I mean, it's it's kind of it's one of those weird things where it's just like. I mean, we we know Deco Seca was a a very good card, ever since you know starting from, um. Jeff Jones Denko dolls, and then throughout that format, and then throughout last format, I mean, we know Deco Seca is so good. I I just don't understand. We need to remind ourselves, like, oh, Deco Seca is a good card. I mean, when did it became a bad card to begin with? I mean, that's one of the things I'm a little, a little dumbfounded about. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the YCS uh, Chicago event, and of course the hype train along with it. Um, also. Yeah, if you guys have noticed, Shadals and Satanize, some important cards like Deneb, Construct, and Winda, their price is going up due to the fact that um, World Superstar set is coming out this coming weekend. So, yeah. So, if you have not picked them up, you have been warned, because I'm letting you know right now for that. Um... That's basically all I had to say about the post TCG um, YCS Chicago metagame for now, and we're gonna see how things will shape up after the release of the World Superstar set. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below if you guys, what you guys think about it. Um, do you also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs it up, and of course. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please check out this channel. And if you think you enjoy this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. So, without further ado, I'm Alessandro, your host, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.